What is going on everyone? Let's talk about burglary. When I was a kid, I thought it was kind of cool to be a burglar thanks to this dude. It wasn't until much later I realized they didn't just steal hamburgers in the hearts of children yearning to live a life of adventure as a fast food thief. I mean, eat cheeseburgers, wear a mask, a pimp hat, and a cape? Sign me up. So what is considered burglary? I mean, besides the whole cheeseburger McDonald's thing. Burglary in the United States is considered a felony or misdemeanor. It includes trespassing, theft, going inside a building or a car with the intent to commit any crime. Even if the crime's not necessarily theft, it's still illegal. The Bureau of Justice Statistics defines it as unlawful or forcible entry into a building. There are four types of burglary. Completed burglary, forcible entry, unlawful entry, and attempted forcible entry. Statistically, old school burglary is way down since the 1990s. You know, they kind of sneak in a window while you're at work, take some of your stuff and leave. That's getting rarer and rarer. They've replaced that with home invasions. Yay! Now this is all according to the FBI's report for 2019. So why why don't we take a look at the states you need the most homeowners insurance to protect your stuff? I guess we got to start with Number 10, Alaska. So let's start with the frontier state, Alaska. Alaska was just on our most violent crime state video. Good for you, Alaska. Way to stay consistent. It seems like they're becoming a regular on these worst of lists lately. At least they're not number one this time. In the report for the 2019 crime stats, Alaska had 539.6 burglaries for every 100,000 residents. Not sure how many of those were attempted hamburger thefts, but one man was arrested for stealing roadkill meat. Not even kidding. I'm sure while that dude sat in that holding cell, he must have thought at least once to himself, how did my life end? end up like this. Where did I go wrong? Stealing roadkill meat. Number nine, South Carolina. This is another one that was on the violent state list. South Carolina has a fair amount of rural burglary. Hate the word rural. I mess it up every time. Anyway, they got rural burglary and theft. People seem to like stealing farm equipment and supplies in this state. Where they really exceed though is in what they call knock-knock burglaries. That's where someone knocks on your door. If nobody answers, they kick in your door and take your stuff. That has seen a 25% increase in the last three years, including some asshat who went on a New Year's Day five our crime spree, which included at least one of those knock-knock things, but he was charged with five counts of kidnapping, five counts of armed robbery, five counts of possessions of a weapon during a violent crime, and three counts of basically he manhandled a woman, a couple women in inappropriate manners. Anyway, so yeah, South Carolina has 579.2 burglaries for every 100,000 residents. Yeah, so that dude got no bail, by the way. He's he's in for the long haul. That kidnapping charge alone is going to, that's going to be rough. He He's only like 19. I think we'll see him when he's closer to 70 again out on the streets. Number eight, Nevada. There's a lot of desperate people doing desperate things in Nevada, and this is no surprise to anyone familiar with Nevada, especially the Las Vegas area, and especially Notch Real Estate Agent. He knows about all those stats. So if you move to one of the many developments in the Las Vegas area, make sure you ask your real estate agent, him or her, about break-ins, car theft, things like that. Because you want to know, you know, what's in store for your new house in the middle of the desert, and how much insurance do you need to carry on your car? They average 584 4.7 burglaries for every 100,000 residents in Nevada. That has only gone up in recent years too. Nevada has a growing homeless population that is helping this stat climb. Sure, it's mostly in Las Vegas, but really, Nevada is mostly Las Vegas metro area. Reno and Carson City aren't that big, and the rest of the state is sort of sparse in the population stats. Number seven, Alabama. Alabama is another state that was on our most violent state video. They have a lot of towns and cities that are in really bad shape. They had 590.1 burglaries for every 100,000 residents in the 2019 report, and I doubt it's going to get any better in the coming years. Alabama is one of the poorest states in the union, and when you have poverty, you have burglaries and home invasion. There's no getting around it. It's going to happen. Number six, North Carolina. Hey, look at that. Both Carolinas make the list. Congratulations. You both suck. There were 599.9 burglaries in North Carolina for every 100,000 residents in the 2019 study. That stat doesn't include recently a homeowner that shot an intruder at her Monkey Junction home. It's like last Monday, according to police, and yes, it's Monkey Junction. Anyway, the woman came home around 12.30 p.m. and found her front door ajar. Once inside, police say she heard someone moving around from room to room upstairs or something 
something. So she reportedly got her handgun, confronted the suspect, and shot Michael Jarvis, 37 years old. Jarvis was taken to the hospital, and he's still in critical condition. At least that was the report a couple days ago. So if you've had any break-ins in the Monkey Junction area, it wasn't Mr. Jarvis. He's hooked up to a machine. Number five, Arkansas. Now, this video is starting to look like a reunion episode from my most violent state video. At the number five spot, we have the natural state. It's another suckage alumnist, Arkansas. Arkansas has a lot of nice places to live. The Ozarks are beautiful. It also has a lot of places you and all your possessions should avoid, like, well, like you should avoid Arkansas. The natural state has 636.8 break-ins for every 100,000 residents. And yes, before you ask, mobile homes are included in that stat. Number four, Louisiana. Louisiana has a laundry list of reasons why it ended up on this list. Poverty, education, gangs, unemployment, corruption. There's many things that go into and contribute to how a person gets to the point that they start stealing people's stuff. A couple years back, I read about a girl in New Orleans who was burglarizing homes so she could have the money to pay down her student loans. That's what she told the cops when she got arrested finally. That is a serious crisis in this country that leads to a lot of bad things. And like I said, that's one of the many reasons for this state to be on this list. Louisiana averages 668.1 burglaries for every 100,000 residents. No numbers on how many of them had student loan debt. Number three, Oklahoma. The Sooner State doesn't have many people, but a solid percentage of those people are in bad shape financially, and as we've already discussed, that leads to them stealing your stuff because they can't afford their own stuff. And apparently, this includes food. Oklahoma is one of the top 10 states with the highest percentage of residents on food stamps in the country. I'd like to tell you what place they're in, but I found three government agencies and they all had different stats, so they're either ranked 5th, 8th, or ninth, but they're definitely in the top 10. There are 681.1 burglaries for every 100,000 residents in the state of Oklahoma every single year. That's their average, obviously, like we've been discussing. I have a friend that's from Oklahoma, and I asked him how they got the name the Sooner State before I actually knew the truth, and he said that there used to be a town, and they tried to farm, and they tried to raise cattle and everything else on it, but it was just horrible, so in a town hall meeting, the mayor said, we're all gonna have to leave here soon or later and everyone in the crowd yelled sooner so that's not the real story but i always thought that was pretty funny Number two, Mississippi. Welcome back, Mississippi. We missed ya. The Magnolia State has been absent from more than a few negative videos lately, so welcome back, guys. If you ever visit Jackson, Mississippi and get a rental car, make sure you buy the insurance. These people are still stealing cars in this state. It's really weird. That kind of went out in the 1990s, you know? I, I, I mean, I know people still steal cars occasionally, but it's not as common anymore. Mississippi has 697.4 burglaries for every 100,000 residents. Now, a lot of them have all kinds of different problems, unemployment, poverty, whatever their case may be. But you also have another thing to encourage people to go out and commit crimes like burglary. The state of Mississippi is one of the only states that will send people to jail if they owe money. Yeah, it's a thing. Most states realize that was a really bad plan, you know, decades ago. Not Mississippi. They're still going strong with it. And number one, New Mexico. New Mexico has become the new Mississippi. For decades, the old go-to line, whenever someone brought up a negative aspect of whatever state you live in, you could just say, well, at least we ain't Mississippi, because Mississippi sucked in every category. New Mexico is the top 10 of suck in almost every category these days. Drugs, poverty, crime, bad schools, my cousin's ex-wife likes it there. <laughs> And of course, budget problems. I did a video about crime in all the different states. I think it was about Albuquerque, actually, last year. And I read an interesting thing about how the crime was on the rise, but New Mexico and some of the local governments were cutting their police force in half because they couldn't afford them. But their crime's on the rise in a bad way. I mean steeply on the rise and they still had to cut the police force in half because they didn't have the money so i'm sure that has a lot to do with them leading this list coming in at the number one spot with 767.9 burglaries for every 100,000 residents is new mexico congratulations guys you won they have a bunch of home invasions here too it's it's a bad bad situation in new mexico 
All right, so that is my list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got some information out of it. Like I said, when you're looking to buy a house, that's what these videos are about. Or move into a no new location to rent or whatever. Make sure you ask real estate agents and maybe even mortgage brokers about neighborhoods and about things like break-ins and home invasions and things like that that are going on in the neighborhood before you put some money down on a mortgage. But hey, everybody have a great day. Let's try that again. But hey, don't forget all the links below. Give the video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you already haven't. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.